Okay, so here's the crazy thing. So, T. Wallace, I just timed him out as a joke. It's not letting me untime him out. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Because, like, before you could, like, just time somebody out. And then just, like, hit the button to bring him right back. I can't untime him out. I was like, I'll just do it as a joke just for, like, a second. Just time him out and just bring him right back. It's like, um... Twitch is not letting me do that. <laughs> so, T. Wallace, it was a joke. It, you're not banned, you're just timed out. But, uh, yeah, it's just like, oh, that'd be a fun little joke type deal. It's like, it just... Manage moderator settings. Let's see what's going on here. Moderator tools are on. Oh, really? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I wasn't a band hammer, it's just the timeout hammer. But yeah, that's so okay. So apparently, Twitch and their infinite wisdom of basically screwing things up worse than fixing things. It made it so you can time somebody out, but you can't change the length of which they're timed out, like one second or something like there, and you can't undo it, apparently. So, good to know. So, as part of an experiment, you have done well. Alright, continuing on, hopefully, without more drops. Was it unban or untime out? Yeah, so yeah, it's weird. It's I guess then they considered it a ban, even though it wasn't a ban, it was just a timeout, because you have the option for ban as moderator. You have the option for like, for example, ban nimix, timeout nimix, and then delete message. So I went to like make sure it was timeout, T Wallace, and normally you just click that and then unclick it again, which is what I do in YKB's chat if somebody like dropped like an F-bomb or something, and I knew like they're brand new and didn't know the rules. So you just like do that one fat like really fast. It delete that one message. It just like it'd say like the message has been removed, but it'd bring them back up like instantly. So apparently they just got rid of it. Well, basically T Wallace is like they've changed they've changed it around for whatever reason. So now like you used to be able to just ban somebody like we're well, not ban but just time out and then bring them right back because the default for timeout is ten minutes. So, like, in YKB's chat, for example, like, if I had somebody coming in just, like, drops an F-bomb out of nowhere, like, I'll just, like, hit them timeout, and then, like, wait about a second, then hit time, you know, hit it again, and it'll bring them right back. But it'll, it'll remove that one message they just typed in last. It'll say, like, message removed by moderator. So I tried to do that with you, and it's just, like, it completely removed you out, like, the chat room, everything. I clicked on, um, you know, timeout, not bam, but timeout. And it's like it completely so like it delete it said deleted 13 messages from T Wallace and like users have been removed. I'm like, wow, okay. Yeah, especially when the like the person marks it like family friendly. It's like clearly marked family friendly chat.
Yes, nothing can save Grape Nuts. Grape Nuts is just nothing but granulated moon rocks. We all know the truth. It's neither grapes nor nuts. It's just rocks. Taken from a local quarry somewhere. Didn't even really bother to wash them off. Sauteed in some mud. Although, actually, there is a way to eat grape nuts. But it requires you to cook it. You know, put in, like, milk into the bowl with it there. Make sure it's in a microwave bowl. Put in some milk, sugar, because that stuff just needs sugar like nobody's business. And, uh, microwave it for... I can't remember how long, but then it makes it soft and actually edible. Like mush. Yeah, exactly. It's like, if you're going to go through that process, just make oatmeal. It will taste a lot better. I can guarantee it. Which is not usually something you say about oatmeal. to the wall. Yes, I don't eat cereal at all, you know, because I just don't. Usually not up for it. It's not too filling for me. Need protein in my diet and all that fun stuff, all that fun jazz. So, but if I do eat cereal, and the few times that I have, Reese's Puffs. Oh, baby. Someone's had the bright idea of, like, you know what? We should probably make Reese's into a cereal. It's like, yes. Either that or like peanut butter Captain Crunch. That's good too. Those I remember being good. I don't know if they are still good. It's probably been about 20 years since I've had peanut butter Captain Crunch, so I cannot verify. Almost like a granola at that point. You have peanut butter balls, oatmeal, maple syrup, cinnamon, raisins. As if it's dried, you know, you got yourself granola. I can just see it now, people tuning into my stream thinking like, wow, this guy's really good. No, not even close. Crunch Berries was the best Captain Crunch. No, no, no. I remember those are the big things. I remember when Trix cereal, I can't remember if it's still this way, it's been too long, but Trix used to just be like round puffs, colored different round puffs. And then for then they started adding shapes, and then it was all shapes for a long time. I don't know if it's still that way or not. Because when I go to the grocery store, I don't even walk down the cereal aisle because there's 
nothing for me to get or eat or buy there, so I don't even bother with it. As in dead? Yes. Course three. Okay, so they changed it back to the round balls. And people joke about serial killers and stuff, but you know it's true, because if you think back to it, Cinnamon Toast Crunch used to have a total of three bakers or chefs on the box. Now it's just one. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Oh, I thought you were talking about Jack Nicholas, or who's like the golf legend. Or is it Nicholson? I can't remember. Speaking of the Joker, the new movie, the director has been bragging about, oh yeah, I didn't base this off of any of the comic books or anything, or any of the previous established materials. It's like, wow, that's gonna be, that's pretty bad. Ah, okay. Yeah, so the new Joker movie is not based off of any previous Batman lore or anything at all. Other than, I think, the name, like, Arthur, which is his original name. But other than that, like, everything's completely different. It has, like, no ties into it. So then the question is, like, why are we bothering with this then? Oh, yeah, this looks like an absolute and total nightmare. Like, let's try to do baby steps here. Well, that's the thing is, like, I used to think, I mean, I've been on record about this, like, publicly many times, is, like, when, uh, what's his face? Heath Ledger was announced as the Joker. I was like, the guy from Knight's Tale, 10 Things I Hate About You, is the Joker. Well, that's gonna be terrible. And it turned out to be, like, the best performance ever. So I really kind of, like, I haven't really like, ruled out anything until I see it. But like the but the whole thing though is like still when you say like okay it's like making a Batman movie but we're not basing it off of any of the Batman lore or anything in the universe. We're just making our own thing. It's like then why are you using the character? Heath Ledger I thought was great. I for me he was like the best one. That he was. Yeah, he actually died, like, I think two or three months before uh, The Dark Knight came out. Accidental overdose.
Yeah, but I remember, like I said, I remember thinking with Heath Ledger, like, this movie's gonna be terrible, whatever, it's just like, we'll go see it anyway, it's like the other Batman movie, and then like, I was like, whoa, okay, this Batman, you know, this Joker is really good, and, like, he did a great job with it. What else are we dealing with? Probably be easier to get that one floating guys to last if possible. Christian Bale did not ruin Batman. Joel Schumacher. That man destroyed Batman. Because I explained Ju Joel Schumacher to my younger brother. Because, I mean, it, which is crazy because he's done some really good films. And uh, then, like, he got his he got his hold of Batman and decided, you know, I'm going to make it campy like the TV show was. And just made it so bad, it screwed it up. They literally killed the Batman franchise for almost ten years. Batman and Robin is that bad of a movie. I like Michael Keaton as Batman. Not really. I didn't think he was bad at it, though. You know, it wasn't like... I don't think, for the record, I don't think even during the Schumacher stuff, I don't think anybody who's played Batman has done a bad job. But, like, for me, like, the Michael Keaton one just didn't really fit. I mean, he was just, like, he's supposed to be Bruce Wayne, ultra-rich, and, like, well-trained, and he's just, like, this smallish kind of, I mean, you know, little guy. Wasn't, like, imposing or threatening or anything like that, whereas, like, Batman would actually have to be pretty fit. A little bigger statue to fill in the role, but... Yeah, he was average, so was Val Kilmer. I mean, like, so to my record, I don't feel that anybody's done a bad job playing Batman. Even George Clooney. put some forward spin I should be able to skip over the water hopefully oh my gosh it's like put me in well he's supposed to be in the new Top Gun movie he said he's been dealing, I think he had like throat cancer or something, or tongue cancer. He had some kind of cancer he kind of kept quiet about. Val Kilmer cancer. Yeah, he had throat cancer, so. Yep, he was Batman in Batman Forever, I think it was. I saw that movie. Um, actually, I saw it for free because it was my brother's friend. At the time, he was like, hey, and I was like, They're like, we're going to see the Batman movie. I'm like, okay, go have fun. And the guy's like, you can come along too. I'll pay for your ticket. You know, my brother's friend's dad was like, yeah, just come along. It's no problem. I was like, are you sure? He's like, yeah. He's like, I'll cover your ticket price. Just come with us, hang out, watch a Batman movie. Okay, cool. I didn't know what I was getting into. I knew that Jim Carrey was in it. I knew it was a Batman movie and people were going to be like, oh, great. 
and uh, within the first five minutes, I'm like, oh, this is like the TV show just on, like, steroids. Okay, so that's how this is gonna be. Now that's just irony in life, right there. Rockstar! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Come on! I am in the shadow of this thing. This one. Yeah, Tombstone was pretty good. It's been a while since I've seen it. Memory was pretty good. Well, they made Magnificent Seven, and then, oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm not gonna have enough to slide out of the water. Yet, yeah, Hateful Eight. But you don't have, like, you know, in the traditional sense. Like the old... The old, uh, you know, westerns. Ooh, Bone Tomahawk. Forgot about that one. Yeah, don't watch that one if you're adverse to, like, very realistic violence. But yes, Bone Tomahawk would be a Western, that's a good point. And was it, I think it was, uh, Fistful of Dollars. I think it was that movie. Like, they have, like, a cemetery in one scene, and, like, actually I used to live, like, couple miles from it while I was first moved out to Tucson is in the middle of the desert. I'm like, oh, hey. It's like, people pointed out to me all the time, like, did you know that they filmed that cemetery scene, you know, from that movie out there? I'm like, oh, yeah. Neat. Yeah, Gettysburg is just... If you're into, like, the Civil War history, American Civil War history stuff, then it's really great, but if you're ambivalent to, like, myself, it's just like, oh, good, I have four hours of this movie to watch now. I can't wait. Please. This hole is going really well. Yeah, 
keep getting stupid backspin. I don't want backspin. Just nearly dodge that water. I don't know it's gonna flood if it turns on. Oh no, this is gonna be a disaster. Wunraku? Uh, I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. So remember, like, it's basically, it's like a puppet-type theater. Let's see. It's like, Japanese storytelling with puppets is what it normally is. Oh, let's see. 2010 martial arts film. Josh Hartnett, Demi Moore, Woody Harrelson, Ron Perlman, Kevin McKidd. And Gact! Oh, well, you have legitimacy right there if you got Gact in your film. Yeah, I did not hear about that. Or I could say T. Wallace, you could just drive two hours south down to Tucson and go to old Tucson, but that burned down to the ground a couple of years ago, so... I don't know if they ever rebuilt it or not. Because old Tucson is way better than actual Tombstone. It's like, yeah, here's Tombstone. Gunfight happened. It's hot as hell. Let's get back in the air conditioning. So great start. Yeah, the fun part about old Tucson, I mean, we're, we're talking like many years ago before the, I think it burned, yeah, like I said, I can't remember if they rebuilt it or not, but the original old Tucson, they used to have like a shootout, like it was like about twice a day, they'd have like a stage shootout type deal, and uh, they used like real blanks <laughs> you know it wasn't like little stage props stuff it was like it was like going to a gunfight and if you did not have earplugs in your ears would be ringing it was great i have no idea how to control a tornado all right And it throws you forward. Good to know. Great positioning, once again. By the way, controlling this thing is not easy. They serve sarsaparilla. I don't remember them serving sarsaparilla, but they did have like candy shops and stuff like that. The usual touristy stuff, but...
Old Tucson Studios. Let's see. Fire 95 is when it happened. Reopen his doors in 97. Then they used the locomotive there for Wild Wild West, which I'm not sure if you really want to be associated with that film. Soundstage was not rebuilt. And it looks like they're still open. But yeah, they filmed a they filmed a lot of movies out there. Yep, Tombstone was filled out there in old Tucson, so. So I said, instead, why go into real Tucson? Why to go to the real Tombstone when you can just visit old, you know, old Tucson? Where they filmed the movie! It's close enough. Okay, should be lined up with it. Alright, well, what else we got here? Work point, which will bring me right back down here. Make sure I'm lined up with this correctly. Okay, so I have to, like, rock dunk this perfectly. And I can't see! Alright. <laughs> it's like, oh great! My, uh, whole counter information is blocking where I need to see my shadow. Alright. Great shot down. There's one there. Thank you, Rock! You're actually turning out to be quite useful. Alright. Oh no, not this one. So, this guy here turns you into a porcupine, which I don't know why you would do, to be honest. It's good in two-player game, because, I mean, you can hit each other to steal their stars and the points they get. Okay, it does stop you pretty quickly, okay. And I have forward momentum. Oh, nice. So I thought, like, oh, maybe it's like the rock, and I can just, you know, just 
stop myself and drop myself in. No, that's not a thing. Shut up, Kirby, I know you're tired. Do a move for my amusement. Okay, no one's back here, that's good. Warp pads launch you full speed ahead into spikes. This might hit it, I'm aiming for the center. I know, I DI'd! I'm actually making a lot farther into this game than I thought I would. <laughs> okay, that's a warp. Brings me right back here onto this path. Snowman, which is not the best. I want to try to get this guy last if possible. gonna throw me right off the ledge. Yep. Oh, bummer. Oh well, let's play a different game though. Get out of here, you bum. You can't sleep here. Is there a multiplayer game we can all play together for some future streams and get on Discord? There is a way that I have not done before. It's called Parsec. And that's what it'll basically allow you to play like multiplayer games, but like through one source. So like for things that weren't really designed for it, like we could fire up like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the arcade game and all play like four people could play that off my emulator through the internet. So that could be one way to do it. Like, like I think like an arcade game would probably be good for that. Simpsons or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles would be good. And just need this. Alright, so let's find another game to play. Let's see what would be good. Zinky! An anime that I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who ever watched and remembered, and it's unremarkable to begin with. Knights of the Round. That's a good arcade beat em up, though.
Let's see. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, King of Dragons. Speaking of arcade games. So I have the Japanese version of this, Japanese cart, and it's almost identical to the US version. This is another one where like it turns out the American version is like pretty rare. Even though I remember renting it from Blockbuster. But um So the Super Famicom version, it just is like a lot cheaper. I think I picked that up for like $30, I think. Let's see, what's going for on eBay right now? So, King of Dragons, Super Nintendo, Loose Cart, it's going to cost around $75 and higher. Super Famicom is around $40 or so. Uh, actually, it's gone up. I see one's $45, $40, and then the other loose ones are like $70, $80. So, it's all over the place. But yeah, I bought it for like $30. And the only thing that's different is like the only one or two like level descriptors like basically telling you what level you're on is in japanese everything else like this is full in english so extra joy so then the question elf wizard fighter cleric or dwarf I'm gonna bring it up this way So he's saying Dwarf, the uh, golf. Any other votes? So we got one for the Dwarf. Any other votes for who I should play as? The Elf is cool. He's not bad. He got long range, but you're weak. Wizard, I think, is pretty much the same way. Like Elf and Wizard are ranged guys. Fighter and Cleric and Dwarf are all pretty much short range. We'll go about another 30 seconds, see if anyone else wants to type in the chat who I should play as. I have a new YouTube subscriber. Well, that's great. Put some good music up for you guys choose. Alright, and looks like we're just going dwarf. Nobody else bothered to say up, oh, up. Oh. Nimix hit the last second with elf. Alright. We have Elf and Dwarf. And so nobody can accuse me of cheating on this one. The wheel shall decide. Dwarf and then Elf down here. Click. It landed on Elf. If only more people had said other things. Yes, except for like not nearly as cool or people subscribing and donating bits 
and me being entertaining. You know, things of that nature, really. Ooh, I, I, I mean, little known fact that elves are known for yelling out barbarian style. Now, I've played this on the arcade before, and actually, it's like, I like the Super Nintendo music better. I was like, you can get power ups like this and bounce them along and bait them out. Then hit them and just destroy everybody. Yep, I don't have any custom theme songs. I swear, occasionally. I drink whiskey a lot. I complain about my back. And I play games mediocrely. That's what you get from my streams. Yeah, trust me, I don't sing because I can't sing anymore. Once upon a time, before I screwed up my vocal cords, I used to. I could. I think the arcade version of this was three players as well. But before I blow up my vocal cords, they used to actually sound just like the guy from Queens of the Stone Age. Now this music, yeah, this part just says treasure in old castle. That was the only part that's in Japanese, is those old level descriptors. Everything else is full English on the Super Famicom version. But this stage music is my jam. I love this one. And it is better sounding than the arcade. Oh, forgot that there's different traps. And it's just over oh, too short. This is like the only time you hear it until you get close to the end again. And then it comes up again, like then it recycles through on the music. But the levels in this game are like very short. The game is kind of long, but the levels are short. Help defeat the Minotaur! They weren't happy to see that one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, that was terrible. Also, like, now that you have, like, ranged attacks, you're not as strong. You also don't have that much health, either. So you get clobbered pretty quickly.
Ooh, I died horribly. It was very embarrassing. I brought shame and dishonor to my family for generations to come. Oh, why? Walk up and spam them. Oh, excuse me, the wyvern, I guess it was called. Not oh, a dragon! No, 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 we can't be sued that way if we call it something different. Hydra! Oh, the good old Super Nintendo slowdown. You think that with the modern technology would have like solved all that stuff? And we still have a slowdown today in video games? Like loading like fast too like the Sega Saturn like you had the four megabyte RAM carts which you know if the game supported it would do really well it'd, it'd load really fast you'd get rid of loading times but then it's like and that was 1997 they figured that stuff out like hey we could get rid of loading entirely in our game and it's like 20 years 20 plus years later we still have games that have horrific loading times like even like ports and some of that older stuff still has like you know will still have loading. It's crazy. Captain America defeats the Hydra! Yeah, Captain America and the Avengers. Oh, man. Red Dragon... Slumber... Yeah. So, wasn't that great of an arcade game? Uh, place we were stationed at in Michigan... The airbase up there had it in their pizza place. So my brother and I got quite familiar with that game. And then like, oh, there's a Super Nintendo port. And it's terrible. <laughs> there's a Sega Genesis port. It's just as terrible. It's like, wow, this game is just not fun. It's just such a quarter muncher. I mean, arcade games were that way by design, but I mean, this was just like unfair insanity.
So I was saying, like, maybe you'll let me continue as pick a different character, and you're stuck with this character the entire game. No, come back here. Thundercats, ho! So you notice if I'm getting level ups so like my arrows travel travel yeah travel travel faster and farther. So you, you do have light RPG-ish elements, I guess you call it, but it's just kinda like Knights of the Round. Where you just play long enough, you just you get up in armor, but it doesn't really do anything, but this game actually does something. Jason and the Argonauts are not here. He won the wrong game. Hey, I remember you from earlier in the game. We're recycling enemies and bosses already. Forest fires. Not Smacky the Frog. And yes, I know about Smacky the Frog. I don't know if he's still around or not, but. people on screen. That is not a giant, that is a Cyclops. Sir, are you aware that you are living a, a lie? You are being misnumbered?
Okay, that was worth it. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Ba I think this game has infinite continues, so it's like, yeah, we're just gonna go and do that forever. Uh, let's see. That's what I wanted to do. It's a magic sword! Got a Super Nintendo port. I played this arcade version about two, three weeks ago, and I'm hoping this emulates correctly. Because there's a problem with this game. Yeah, Super Nintendo could have used a lot more awesome Sega Game Over screens and music. Capcom needs to bring back that jingle. So if this emulates correctly, you're going to notice a problem pretty quickly. Especially when we get inside to the castle. Start seeing a little bit there. This game has massive slowdown problems. And that sound is never gonna get old. Slowdown. <laughs> Later levels, it just like really, really starts going super slow. Robong, this is Magic Sword for the Super Nintendo, and I just put it on real quick so I was taking just random games and stuff and 
see what this one is, and it has a lot of slowdown to it, unfortunately. So if you decide to play it, there is a 360 and PS3 port, like a Final Fight. I forgot exactly what they call it, but it's like it's got Final Fight with it as well. Yeah, Final Fight Double Impact or something like that. And it has Magic Sword and this, or you can just emulate an arcade ROM. That works too. That's a classic. This is the game that I played in the arcade as a child. Back when arcades were things. I'm about to hit a boss. Here we go. I am of the line of the great or chait dragon. I'll put an end to your little adventure. I talk slowly for reasons. Yeah, it's gotta be the emulator because this is actually running a lot better than it normally does on the actual cart that I have. I had the Japanese version of this game. And it just... it chugs. You got a samurai sword! Okay. If you insist. I did it! I destroyed the dragon! Yeah, we- I remember, I was right there, dude. It's not that special. Fuzzy Bear, no! You'll always be waka waka in my heart. Yes, I will take you instead. Yep, I answered. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, yep, this part always chugs. Super Nintendo processing power! Super Nintendo version may have removed out the ability to run backwards, because in the arcade there were levels early on where you could just start walking to the left, and it was no problem. So, I'm not sure if it got rid of that or not. I don't think this is like a really good one-for-one -one arcade, but I mean, very few things were. I remember... Like when Final Fight came out for a Super Nintendo, we're talking like early on, it was a pretty early game for Super Nintendo. I remember at the time thinking, man, this is like, just like the arcade version, and it wasn't, um, but it was like, it's just how, like, your perception changes over time.
Yeah, because like you feel like it, it's like, wow, this is really good, and standards change, and now we have the ability to actually play the full arcade ROM download. You can buy a one arcade one-up machine that has Final Fight in it. I wouldn't recommend it. But you know, for the time though, it was like an amazing thing. We were a little bit more lenient for what we consider to be like really good ports. Don't want you. No one likes you. Go away. It said the King's Knights are held on the next floor. Okay. Who said that? Nope, okay, you can go left in some levels, I guess. Oops. Now you tell me. He's like, open the treasure chest with care. Uh, thanks. I mean, where were you like 10 minutes ago? Hear water, let's hurry. Mummy out of the ceiling, of course. That's I mean, you gotta be wary of that all the times. Ceiling mummies. You couldn't go anywhere in Egypt without getting like mummies dropped right on top of your head. It was a nightmare trip. Seems to fill the air. Be careful. <laughs> no, that wasn't evil. I, I had Taco Bell. I'm, I'm sorry. Like a boss. Yep. You're just in time to relive my or relieve my boredom. Come, let's play. Wow, you look like just the first level boss. Are you aware of that, sir?
got a broadsword. If you say so. I'm not gonna argue against you. I'm not really a sword person like that. Thieves can detect the treasure's chest traps. Well, I don't have a thief. Unless you do. I mean, are you trustworthy? You're not going to pick my pocket, right? I... Powered up version. So if you pick up, if you manage to free somebody who you already have, they go up in level and you get the upgraded form of it. So just like this. power of the black orb okay should I go home and be a family man Let's go and be careful. No, I, re I refuse. I'll do everything reckless. Thank you. 
All right. Again, I'm playing this like a lot longer than I thought I would. I was like, well, I'll just keep going. Word still works, even though set up long ago. Okay. And just like that, amazing gameplay. Content. This is an amazing game. And it's got a good soundtrack too. Oh my gosh. Capcom in the 90s could do no wrong. Then the 2000s happened and uh, <laughs> wow. It didn't end so well. So you're playing, you get knocked over, like you get knocked in the head, you fall over a cliff, and then it's magic land, and you have to save Pluto. With great, great music. Old man, what are you doing in my house? Get out! Disney dollars and onto the specs I go but oh well but yeah it's a great game it's a lot of fun bosses take freaking forever however but let's see This is it. I actually own this game complete in box. I love it. It's a puzzle game. You pop balloons. It's pretty good. I 
the sequel came out for the like Sufami Turbo, and I haven't been able to track down a copy of that game. And last time I saw it for sale, selling for like just the loose card itself for like two hundred dollars. So I was like, yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's a little bit pricey. I know the top is story. But can we win the love by daylight? There we go. So basically in this game, to kind of quickly describe it, you have... Jupiter's pretty good. You have like a series of balloons you have to pop. If you want to build them up by color, so you can, like, bury your opponent. And we'll do it against the Soggy. Okay, so it looks like blue and green are going to be the ones to keep. Or not, okay. Crap. So I got knocked down, so I have, like... I can't transform, I can only pop one at a time. I can't do clusters. There we go. So now I can pop chains. But she also has her super built up on the right, so the more loons you pop, you can get your super going, which she's gonna do right now. Let's see how it screws that me over. Makes everything small, perfect. mix. I mean, usually, like, it tries to give you, like, one or two color patterns and it'll stick with that, so you can, like, really build it up, like, a whole lot and just destroy your opponent. Alright, Nimix, catch you later. Have a good night. Let's see what my super does now. It, okay, so it popped their balloons and it's throwing in crap on their side, which is great. So the great ones you cannot break, if you haven't figured it out yet. Unless you, like, pop a balloon next to it, so... It destroys their whatever they have built up and throws the great balloons on it, which is nice. Everybody has their own, like, you know, superpower in this game.
I think it's X you can summon Tuxedo Common or Tuxedo Mask, if you will, to clear out a row for you, but it takes away from your super gauge. Didn't mean to hit that, was in the right position. gonna do something. I'm surprised it actually didn't unleash its super on me. Nice. It's trying to move balloons, but it's also canceling yours, too. So there is strategy to this game. You know, if you want to clear off your rows, if you have, like, gray balloons coming up your opponent's side, it'll cancel that, too. So you got to be careful. Bring it on. I heard you popping all those balloons. Bring it on, lady. Computer is like really fighting. It's like, no, I don't want to go down. So I can get bent. Should finish her off. Yay! Basically, just keep going on like that, but you can do story mode and continue through and battle all the, you know, sailor soldiers, all the other fun stuff. It's not a bad game. Um, last time I looked this up, it's really, really shot up high in price. This was a 
not really mass-produced game, so it's pretty high. Uh, let's see. Select. Fua, fua, panic. Shoujo Sensei Sailor Moon Super S. Wow, somebody actually has a loose card of it for sale for $24, which is pretty good. Considering how often you really don't see this game come up for sale, that's a really good price. And somebody has a completed box like I have for $100. Another one for about another 100 so yeah, it goes up there. But for now... We've reached the end of the stream. Thanks for hanging out through all the wonderful restarts of having to do, you know, jump switch, twitch servers, all that other fun stuff. So, of course, shout out to Nimix, Hold Your Fire, uh, let's see, The Real Bong, and T. Wallace showed up, and The Morgue, and Ronnie as well. So, yep, and of course, anybody else who lurked, always awesome. So, I should be back tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know when that is, just go ahead and type that into Google, and it'll tell you for wherever you are in the world. You can also check me out on Twitter at Warsold555. I do post up usually about a couple hours before I stream what I'll be playing, if I know. Or if I need to cancel for back or health reasons, I'll post it in there. So plan is to be back again streaming tomorrow, but what? I'm not quite sure. Uh, always kind of the big thing, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing, but we'll figure it out. But, let's do a we'll raid Lord BBH. Looks like he's doing a uh, meme. meme randomizer, which is always awesome to do. So thanks for hanging out, and hopefully see you guys tomorrow.